Hello everybody and welcome back to Chameleon Twist 2. We are on stage 3 with Iceland. So let's hop to it. I promise I will do almost my best to refrain from making too many Arnold Schwarzenegger style <laughs> Mr. Freeze ice quotes. It's The less of that I do the better, if I had to imagine. Now with this level, the, the floors are all free because it's all icy, who knew? But um, there aren't any crazy specific... Oh yeah, here we get the advanced techniques, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> there aren't any super crazy specific moves to do in this level, but there's still a training session, and I'll go ahead and show it off, just as why the hell not. This one is more or less just kind of a supercharged version of the first training level that we saw, where um, it's just really all about, you can kind of see the pictures in the background, it's all about just uh, l latching onto platforms, and just general platform, tongue, maneuver, goodness. Um, oh shit, I extended jumped too soon and extended the, extended the tongue too late. But the general premise behind this one, I think, is that by this point they've committed to having a training session in every level thus far, and for this one there really aren't any specific things that you have to worry about, so I think they were like, well, we've we've had a training session in every level thus far, so yeah, let's just throw something kind of generic for this one and yeah, just call it a day. It's like, I think that might have been their reasoning for it. There we go. So with this... I think we are in good shape. Look at that, 38 seconds. Not quite as good as my best time, but I'll still take it. Again, just a quick little training level, just general platforming best practices to follow by, or to abide by. Not gonna lie to you guys, this level felt a lot quicker than I remember it when I did my practice run of this a little bit earlier today. So this might be uh, this might be a bit of a speed run compared to uh, compared to the previous videos that have gotten close to the 30 minute mark. I don't think we're gonna be nearly that long in this level. Of course, I say that now. By this point, you're looking at the video on YouTube and seeing the total length, so if I'm full of shit, then you'll know already. Of course, if you're watching my videos, you should probably already know that I'm kind of full of shit. Also, quick, the chameleon cannot swim. Or, no, what's him? I think this one's Davey. No, not- it's Jack. That, that's right, with Jack. This Davey was blue in the last game, but in this one. But yeah, the, the chameleon, whoever you choose, cannot swim in this game, so falling in the water is bad news bears. Bad news chameleons. Now, these penguins move giant snowballs back and forth. Um, oh, what's that Greek mythology, that myth in Greek mythology that where it's the, the guy who's cursed to push the uh, boulder up the, uh, oh crap, come on, there we go. C cursed to push the boulder up, oh shit, up the mountainside and for all eternity, and he, and he always has to fall, and he, he can't, uh, can't make it to the top and always slides back down. What's, I want to say Sisyphus, but that doesn't sound right, that's the, uh, that's the- Oh no, I think it is Sisyphus. Icarus was the guy with, was the guy with the wax wings. Right, anyway, I'm getting off topic, which happens. Um, but yes, make it past those penguins. Um, yeah, it was unfortunate in that I don't know a little bit ago. I had the, had the slow- had the that crappy tongue movement. And yeah, there was one weird thing where I, I kept trying to do this. I think- Well, no, that's, that's not it. Because, like, when you're sliding on the ice, you can still do it. I don't know why. With some inclined surfaces, I guess it just wouldn't really behave. Um, these little, I, I, I'll just go ahead and show it, these little snowflake icicle guys, they freeze you, but they actually don't do any damage. They're harmless in that sense, but they're an inconvenience, because the idea behind these platforms or these blocks is that they're supposed to push you away. Eh, nothing too bad. And then, of course, icicles. Very near and dear to another game that I recently did that I'll actually... Oh yeah, here we go. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> that wasn't like a super jump on my part. There's just an automatic, um, like, I don't know what it is. Automatic, like, jump set in that level. Also, you can grab the penguins, which I think is kind of fun. <laughs> but yeah, some automatic bounce and jump thrown in. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, those icicles remind me of another game that I'll be doing for an upcoming project. And in fact, I'll have a video about that shortly to follow. Oh shit, I just got right. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of adorable. Oh no, I got invincibility. I wanted to show it off again because I think it looks hilarious when it gets flattened. Um, I don't know. I guess three is the maximum because it felt like they just kept spawning, but I think it's only three of these curling irons can be seen at one time. Is that the right term for those curling irons, I think? I think that's what they're called. Because I know they use them in curling. Again, Winter Olympics. We're also topical here. Actually, I think by the time I post this, this'll, the Winter Olympics will probably been over. Oh well, I like to think we're topical anyway. We're cruising all right along here, really. There wasn't a lot to speak of in that previous section. There was the... Oh, come on, people from the 90s. Was it Free Willy? I think it was what that was. I, that's what it reminds me of, the orcas flying overhead. Now these penguins scooting around, you can scoop them up too. Um, you can just jump up this inclined platform. It's really not too slippery or anything like that. Just watch for the penguin, you'll be in good shape. 
Oh man, this is hell of a time to get the speed up. <laughs> um, oh, and one thing, you know, I haven't really bothered to mention, and it's not because I haven't thought about it, just I keep getting distracted by other things. Ooh. Oh god, <laughs> that looks hilarious. Oh, with the suit, it's adorable. But um, but yeah, the music in this game is what I was trying to get to. Was was trying to get at. I I constantly keep going back and forth on which game had the better music, whether it be the first one or this game, the sequel. I really don't know which soundtrack I like more. They both have just excellent songs, and this this song is a good example. But really, there isn't a bad song in the soundtrack, as far as I'm concerned. This is one thing I like. I said I meant to bring it up earlier, and kept getting distracted by all these ridiculous things. Now this is kind of fun, let's see. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm actually gonna measure to see which bonus thing I can get. Oh, big head. This is a great time to get like the times two or the times three um, multiplier for tongue things. Because, whoa. Are those gigantic because my head's been, they do turn the projectiles gigantic. Now that is nifty, I never noticed that before. Yeah, when you shoot them out, they're gigantic. That's, that's crazy, I never noticed that before. But, yeah, this is a good time to get the times two or times three multiplier, because by this point you could just spam, like, scoop up like three or four things, and suddenly you've got like nine or twelve things in your mouth that you can blast out at your heart's content. Let's leave that heart there, although I feel like, yeah, we're at full health anyway, I think we're gonna be okay. Um, now with this one, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a puzzle, sort of, where you have to guess which platform is cor the correct one, like for example, if I swing over to this one, it'll be like, nope, and just dump you down. So it's kind of a guessing game, not quite as obnoxious as that one from the first level, where it was just straight up like, okay, <laughs> you have to go all the way back to the beginning if you screw up or anything like that. At least this is a little bit nicer. And not all incorrect choices will screw you up. For example, I just landed on this one, and it didn't dump me back to, to the bottom. It's more or less a guessing game, but at least it's not, like, heartless in its cruelty. Oh, there we go. Lucky guess. Nice. And what do we got here? Uh, just more general platforming goodness. Like I said before, there's not a ton of crazy quirks in this level. I guess the only real quirk to speak of is just the slippery flooring, that kind of thing. In fact, yeah, these, these platforms fall down, but again, nothing we really haven't seen before. Coming up, there's going to be a section that that is really... Oh, no! No! Okay, good. Yeah, that's, I needed to... I screwed that up, and I needed to get the gold coin. Uh, buckled under the pressure. But yeah, there's a little mini game coming up that is really fun. In fact, I think this is it right here. Ooh, 11. Is that right? I don't know. I think it is. I think it's okay. This section is really cool, although it can really screw you over if you, um, if you're too quick to exit. So this, <laughs> the idea, it's, oh no, no, okay, good. I don't want to get the exit just yet because there's a second gold coin somewhere. In fact, uh, come on, I, oh, there we go. Now we got it. So now, <laughs> It's kind of like foosball, but it's like on ice. I don't know if anybody knows of a particular... Oh, damn. A particular, like, uh, game that would resemble this, or if there's a specific name for it. But it's super fun. You actually, you can't even jump. You're very restricted to just tongue movements and just getting bounced around. And swinging around by these things. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Actually, I just noticed there was a carrot back there. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, I will have to go back for that. Because if I were to jump off just now, just to show... He does finish. Or once this level's finished. I'm pretty sure if that's 14... Yeah, I think we're in good shape. That's the magic number I remember from last time. So we have all the gold coins, but I'll speed through this after I'm done with this level and pick up the gold carrot. <laughs> the gold carrot. Pick up the carrot and show in the bit. Like, show in, like, an edited part me picking it up just to just to prove to prove my worthiness damn it <laughs> yeah this is the uh, they kind of tease you by putting these, these poles here but really you're not supposed to swing around with them too much I don't think because yeah like when I whenever I tried I just end up screwing myself over so instead I'm just gonna use the poles as um, places to kind of pull myself in honestly it's not even worth it you could just as easily jump up with your umbrella or your parasol and tongue yourself over there manually so the, the poles are kind of unnecessary when it comes down to it. Needless to say, we are cruising right along though here, though, so I think we should be in good shape. What, 15? 14. Okay, that should be okay. Oh, here we go. Here's 15 coming up right here. It's actually up top on this little platform here, 
but one way I kind of accidentally found out how to get up here easily is to just do this, jump up, latch on your tongue, and now you're good! <laughs> Somehow you're able to jump through the floor, I don't know why that is, but it just works. Um, oh, here's an open seat right here. There are, of course, seats where penguins and assorted wildlife are sitting in the seats, but you can scoop them up with your tongue just as easily you could, as you could before. And similarly, you can also jump up here. I, again, I don't know why you can just so easily jump through. Let's get, the, let's get this penguin. Oh, you could get him. Oh, maybe not. I could have sworn you could pick him up. Maybe it's only some of them. Well, here's a part, and the camera moves out over to kind of show it, which is very nifty. Otherwise, this would be a pain in the ass. I'm glad that the camera moves. But you jump off and use your parasol. There is a gold coin right here. You have to guide yourself into it. And it's at a bit of a steep slope. So from that point, you're kind of... It's really hard to land it, like, perfectly. So I prefer to use my tongue and latch on to that last bit, because otherwise it'll just keep on falling. And this part, it's like... I can't really explain it probably. It's like a an ice sculptures an ice sculptures um, fever dream. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's like if Pink Floyd the Wall was had some sort of dynamic with yeah ice sculptors or maybe lumberjacks. I don't know. This section's kind of a pain in the ass, and I actually had the opposite problem when I did my practice run. I actually got the slow down because what these penguins are doing is that they're going out of the way to try and prevent you from crossing up. Um, shit, do I have... Okay, cool, that's 20. But yeah, you'll see they'll kind of... Well, they don't, they're not doing it now, but they were moving to match you and to try and push you off, because they're jerks. They're mean penguins, and you can't even scoop them up. But when I did my practice run, I had to slow down, so it was even tougher not to speed up. So anyway, here's the boss. Yeah, like I said, we're really cruising by. This is really nice, uh, really nice pace. This boss is actually, I would say, is genuinely challenging. He is a... <laughs> a roller derby narwhal? I don't know what he's supposed to be. The spike balls, I guess that's for- or the spike wheels, I guess that's for traction. But he's genuinely challenging, not because the boss himself is challenging, but what he spawns, they're very random and they seem to have a nasty tendency to land right on top of you. Um, and because they're so randomly placed, it can be hard to, like, scoop up a lot in a single tongue grab. And also, when he plows through things, you just saw right there, he actually destroys them, so... You also kind of have to be mindful of where you're leading them. Very rarely will he hit you, but it's pretty its pretty easy for these things to just land straight on top of you. Shadows do show up to indicate that they're about to fall somewhere, but because the ground is so slippery, it's still easy to just slide right into it. Although, you know, I've been pretty lucky this time. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit more cognizant of it this time around versus my, pre versus my practice run where I was just flying by the seat of my pants. And you saw just there, you can easily be, be stunned by it. So if you're about to get hit and you're kind of in a in a tough spot, just grab one thing and hit him really quick. Okay, now he's starting to now he's starting to wise up, but now he's done. And in addition to exploding, he gets frozen. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't know why I can tell you. The mushroom guy sank into the ground. The sandwich guy split apart, and the roller derby narwhal just kind of becomes ice. At least I think that's a narwhal. I hope that I'm thinking the right thing like a gopher version of a narwhal. Well, anyway, we completed the level. Let's see what our costume looks like. It is... a... Oh, is that like a... I can't... It's kind of hard to see. Is that like a like a golf shirt and pants, that kind of thing? That's kind of what it looks like. Maybe a, just a gentleman outfit or just casual... Just casual chameleon outfit. Um, I'm actually going to hop back into the ice line and grab that carrot. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward to show when I pick that up. So, be right back! Ew. Good shape. Alright guys, looks like we should be in good shape. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game just to avoid any snafus like we had last time. And then I shall see you guys next time with the, uh, oh actually that's kinda hard read. Is it Great Edo Land? Great Egoland? Let's go with Edo. I don't know what that 
means or what it stands for, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Push through it, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, alright, that's what's up, baby. <laughs>